everybody, welcome back. My name is Stephanie and I am so excited for today's video. So now that I'm a mom and I have kids who completely ruin their clothes on a daily basis because they refuse to wear bibs from the time I tried to put them in bibs and it can be really sad to see like a brand new t-shirt or onesie just get completely ruined with lunch, chocolate, you know, who knows what. Anyway, without rambling on too much, I just want to tell you that you can do this with whatever products you have. So the three things that you really need are detergent, and it really doesn't matter what brand. Get your little pre-treater stain thing if you like spray and wash or shout. I personally like the OxyClean one. And then you'll need some kind of a laundry booster, whether it's the laundry booster from the Dollar Tree, it used to be called Awesome Orange, and now they've changed the name to Actual Laundry Booster. That stuff works great, it's amazing. I love OxyClean. Sometimes when I'm feeling like spending an extra few dollars, I'll spring for the OxyClean. I do not like the Sun brand, I will say that. Um, borax. I've tried just regular baking soda, and for me, I don't get the same results as when I use a specific laundry booster. So those are the three things that you need, plus you need a way to have hot water to do your laundry. So without further ado, let's get into how I do my laundry and keep my kids' clothes super clean so that they can wear them until they grow out of those clothes. Okay, so as you can see, I've got all of the very dirty clothes stacked here. This is from paint. This is just one of the stain removers. So I will spray it very thoroughly. And then for really bad stains, my next magic tool is the Felps Naphtha Bar. This is just a bar stain remover, and it works best if you get it wet first. But um, since this has already been wet from the uh, stain remover, I'll just rub it in, just because these ones are particularly bad. So I did wet this because it wasn't working how I wanted. This is literally where the magic happens. It's the OxyClean. I thought I recorded myself dumping in, but I didn't. So there's one scoop of OxyClean, and then I don't even buy fancy detergent anymore since we're in a debt snowball. I switched over to this a couple years ago, and it works just fine. So then it's just add the clothes in. Okay, so I added my son's clothes, and then I put it on the soak feature. Make sure it's on hot water. Then this is going to fill up with water, obviously, because it's a washing machine. And these are going to soak overnight. So, so as you can see, it's about 8.30 at night. And then in the morning, I'll start the rest of the cycle. And after I dry them, I will show you how clean those clothes turn out. You will be amazed. Okay, so here we are <laughs> after they've been washed and dried. And as you can see, they look great. They look brand new. This had a pen stain, totally gone. This is just pretty dirty at the top, totally clean. Check out these pants. There are two little spots that I probably just missed with the spray and wash. But here's front and back. You can see they're like basically brand new. This one came out totally clean. If you look really close, there's like a tiny bit of orange left, which will drive me crazy. So next time I wash this, I'll just make sure to do some more Felsnaphtha on that one. 
Same one on this one. Sometimes whites can be kind of tricky depending on how long the stain has been there. Just a little bit. But I know that this will come out just based on how like things have gone in the past. All right, so I know that that probably seemed a little bit complicated and a little bit long, but if you follow those steps, take some of those clothes that maybe have old stains and do not be afraid to try this method with those clothes. And even if it takes one or two times, either with the felt snap the bar or just extra like care with like a laundry booster on those really, really difficult stains, I'm pretty confident you can get out almost any stain. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you'll subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next video. Bye.